Hi guys, so you have finished your basic introduction to Blender. Feels good, right? You made a nice building, modeled a couple of objects, and even made a nice animation of your own. The complete animation which is rendered and animated. That is something to be really proud of. Now what? This is the time you'll have hundreds of exciting new ideas and thousands of new questions running your head and so much energy building that you just can't wait to make something big. And that's a good sign actually. It's good to have this energy and excitement. That means you are really into this and your mind is engaged in this 3D creation world and now this curiosity will lead you to your ultimate goal. But before you do that, let's do one thing. Let's make few more simple things and perfect them. But this time create something different, not the ones which you've seen in the series, but create something new and uh, solve the problems which you face on your own. Okay, create a different kind of house, find some nice inspiration, detail them out a bit more, push out of your comfort zone, forget the rules for a bit if they are restricting you too much. Create more objects, make nice renders, make shoes, computers, simplified model of your bed, your room, your guitar, in 3D, anything that you like, okay? Also, one more fun thing you can do, you can take the same models which we made uh, during the introduction series and uh, take a different approach about it. Maybe try different kind of a lighting on the chapter one assignment, make it a night scene instead of day, apply a few textures which we learned later and maybe play with the PBR shaders and give it a different kind of a look, okay? Take the clouds which you made in the last chapter, combine it with the Game Boy model which we made during a modifier section and uh, maybe throw in a few of your uh, airplanes and make a nice, uh, compose a nice scene. Now you can also take the headphone from the day 2 and shade it realistically with the principal shaders, add some nice noise texture on with the bump map for the outer form, make it look softer and give it different finishes okay and you can also compose it with the nice camera effects like a depth of field okay. Now this way you will come across a few more challenges such as uh, composing a nice render uh, it's not an easy task, okay? You, you will be facing challenges with the uh, lighting, composition, colors, etc. And your mind will start thinking about these, these important things subconsciously. And uh, some of you have actually already tried this out, okay? I'll show you a few renders. Now, here's the exciting thing. This is my Instagram wall and here are some of the posts from the community. So, so many people have sent me these awesome renders and that just made my day. Look at the variety, some of them have tried different material, textures, lighting and even played with the camera and these look completely different from uh, what we had made in the tutorial. Gave it more cinematic feel. Now these look fantastic guys. I will do a complete community showcase in detail in some other video but well done people, this is looking really great. Now during this series I'm sure I haven't covered everything about Blender or 3D and it's not possible or won't be a good idea to do that at this introduction stage. But this will give you enough idea so you can start researching about these different topics such as lighting, ray tracing, surfaces, topology, UV, modeling, all those terms which we used and each of these subjects are very rich and require a lot of dedication and practice. These topics are very multidirectional and take time to understand. And I'm sure as you're moving forward, you will have hundreds of more questions and I want you to write these questions down, your ideas with them and share it with me. Let me know what you want to learn next. Also encourage the community to answer the questions from the other people within the comment section if you think you have the right answer, okay? Also I have added timestamps on the videos, I took the suggestion from the comments. If you forget anything, it would be easy for you to revisit the session and uh, find it because uh, the description and the timestamps are there. Now those who are waiting for the soul steal scene from the content creation series which is a different one, I just want you to know it's coming out very soon, I'm hoping for the first or second week of the next month which is June 2020. There will be plenty more stuff coming to this channel so stay tuned and thank you for staying patient in these uncertain times and I hope everyone is staying safe and staying home and uh, learning is the best thing you can do and make use of this time. Meanwhile if you want to support me subscribe to this channel if you find the knowledge useful share your renders on Instagram and mention and tag us with Instacrossmind give us a shout out share it with your colleagues friends or within the community on different platforms stay connected stay safe i'll see you guys around good luck thank you